Hey guys, welcome to Medicine Medicine. Today we are up with another tutorial video on the segment of plant irritant poisons, presenting the topic Semicarpus anacardium. You can see the fruit of Semicarpus anacardium in the picture. Did you know that? Semicarpus is closely related to the family of cashew nut, because of which it is also referred as cousin of cashew nut. Quite interesting, right? Not only humans, but also the plants have cousins. The seeds are black, heart shaped with rough projection at the base, as you can see in the picture by side. The seed contains an irritant juice, which is brownish, oily and acrid. The active principles that impart irritant property to the juice of semicarpus are semicarpal 0.1% and villavanal 15-17%. to Did you know that semicarpus is also commonly called as villava in Hindi? because of which one of its active principles is named as Vilawanul. The fatal dose for semicarpus is about 5 to 10 grams, whereas the fatal period is about 12 to 24 hours. We have discussed about fatal dose and fatal period in our earlier video of Ricinus communis. So, here are the signs and symptoms of semicarpus poisoning. As we have discussed earlier that the juice of semicarpus poses is irritant property, the resultant signs and symptoms due to application of juice on skin would be irritation and painful blisters. If the juice is ingested, then symptoms like fever, painful micturition with brown color urine appears. Occasionally, tachycardia, coma and death can occur, but it is quite rare. The treatment for semicarpus poisoning would be a. Gastric lavage b. Demulcent to soothe or relieve inflammation or irritation. Similarly, external washing of skin with lukewarm water containing antiseptic could be done to relieve painful blisters or inflammation on the skin. So, the post-mortem appearances in any person who has died of semicarpus poisoning would present with inflamed GIT, congestion of internal organs, and if the death has occurred due to ingestion of the juice, then one can see blisters in the GIT. So what's the medical legal importance of semicarpus poisoning? The poisoning could be accidental due to ingestion of juice under the advice of quacks. However, it is rarely homicidal or suicidal. As the juice poses as irritant property, it can be used for punishment of infidelity by inserting the juice in female's vagina. It has also been used for vitriolage, for abortion and for fabrication of injury, for false charge of assault. Did you know that semicarpus is also commonly known as marking nut, as its juice is used by washerman to put mark on clothes for identification. See, the washerman has semicarpus anacardium, whose juice is quite poisonous. So. Don't underestimate the power of a common washerman. So, here we are at the end of our tutorial video. We hope we could help you a bit. If you have any queries, any suggestions, drop them in comment section below. We would love to hear it from you guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep loving, keep supporting. See you soon with another tutorial video. Thank you guys.